Okay, I'm here today looking at a lawn that I'm going to refer to as um, CNA's lawn. And it's a it's a weed infested here here between the sidewalk and the road. It's a, almost a solid stand of crabgrass right now. <clears throat> and in other places we've got you know crab, a good bit of crabgrass, but then a number of other perennial weeds. We've got yellow nut sedge right here. <clears throat> um, we've got Dallas grass. Uh, this this is Dallas grass. Um, Dallas grass. Just a lot of Dallas grass. And so, there's the beautiful new fence. <clears throat> Hopefully there's not a lock on the other side. Unfortunately there is. <clears throat> so it looks like the property line actually goes... I'm guessing the property line over here is like there's a couple mowers widths on the other side of these. Is that right? The other mm -hmm. side of these. Our property line goes right up to here. Just right along the edge? Just right along the edge. Okay, real good. Thank you. Right to the edge of the fence all the way down <clears throat> to, the, to the front. Okay, I got you. Thanks. <clears throat> so that's the property line there. And this is the front. So those are the problems here. So I'm going to go around the back now and do the same, <clears throat> have the same look. And inventory what needs to be sprayed out back there before we see this patch of Bermuda is going to be sprayed out. This is a common weed that I'm seeing in the lawn here. It's Virginia buttonweed. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and take a walk around in the back and have a look. The line on this side is, again, you can see the fence. So it looks like there's probably about a three foot strip on the other side of these arbivita. And then you can see the stake out at the street. <clears throat> so, and then here again, I've got some of the perennial weeds, some crabgrass. A little section of lawn right there that we want to get everything else to match. That's that's the standard that's that we're being asked to meet. So here we go on back here. <clears throat> and this um, this is a place where uh, water from the neighboring properties comes through and runs through this portion of the lawn. Uh, doesn't seem to be really causing any <clears throat> any excessive moisture problems, so won't worry about it. <clears throat> and so again, the same weeds back here, Dallas grass, Virginia buttonweed, buttonweed, no Bermuda back here, that's good. <clears throat> but just lots and lots and lots of crabgrass. So that'll be handled next spring once we get the, the lawn renovation done and <clears throat> have gotten into the early spring next year. We'll make sure and use a <clears throat> top of the line pre-emergent to keep this crabgrass from reestablishing itself. Boy, lots and lots and lots of Dallas grass here. So this lawn is going to <clears throat> look a bit worse before it looks better, but it's a small price to pay for 
the quality of the transformation that we're going to be able to make. So that's all. It's Mike Poole with Green Thumb Lawn Care, and I'm signing out.